Hello, John Dilworth here. Um, we have a, a, a few scenes that have been inked. I call them drafts. Uh, we're just beginning inking, and we have uh, a select number of talent that are engaged in this uh, learning. And um, one thing I want to, this is uh, scene five. Okay, that's scene five. One thing I'm looking for with the inking is smooth lines. The interpretation of an animator's rough lines, smooth. For instance, uh, here you see this is not so smooth. And it gets a little wonky here. Uh, you could see over here uh, Jim's backside is a little wonky. Uh, so we want to smooth those out. Uh, Again, uh, we're having problems with the pupils. Um, on my inking video demo, um, it was explained how to do that, but that's, that's just part of the learning curve. But what I wanted to show here is uh, the importance of using your, well, you're in, you're in Photoshop inking, one layer and then the next layer, it's sequential. So this drawing comes first. Let's look at the finger, and uh, it inflates. Uh, you know, all sorts of strange business happens. Now, there are going to be anomalies, and granted, to be fair, in the animation itself, the drawings. But it is also the responsibility of the inker to advance the drawings to ensure that this doesn't happen. And if the drawings are inconsistent, it is the inker's responsibility to conform best that they can. Look at this. I mean, that's, that's not going to be good at all. What will happen is that it'll just look, uh, well, when it's moving, wonky. And uh, you see, this is not so smooth. This has got a thing here that just goes up into the neck. I don't, you know, I don't know. Uh, right here. Uh, I believe that we have, oh, well, this is a whole nother thing. Let's see if we have a marking. Whoopsies, what do we do? We did something weird. Okay, let's see this. Right, so what happens now at this stage are notes for the inkers. They get sent back. And uh, what you do is you highlight uh, the areas you want uh, replaced or re refined. And I, I generally do that in red. And here's another drawing with notes. Uh, this is scene 9. I hope that... No, this says it's scene 10. Ha ha ha! This is the other problem we've discovered now. Well, I'm in scene 5, right? So... Where is scene five? Aha, uh -huh. that's interesting. Did I even make something of scene five? Okay, well, let's do this. There's scene nine. It says right here, whoops, you can't see, but let me show you. It says scene nine. It says scene 10, you can't see it, but it says scene 10 here. And in the uh, scene 10 here also, but uh, I wanted to show you something uh, that, that does say scene, scene 8, right? So there's a little bit of a challenge on fastidiousness. Right? And that's so vital in animation because we're just starting this thing in like seven minutes. I mean, think about the hundreds and hundreds of drawings and the scenes that are required. So here's a, a, a single a drawing. And I wanted to show you some of the things. So we look at, we got to be uh, attentive. Let me just lower the camera a bit so we can see this. Or I could have just done that, right? Well, there it is, Dum Dum Dilworth strikes again. 
Well, little things, right? Little things, but they matter. Uh, look at this. That's absent. And it goes on to here and to here. And this, even this is not fair because it's unfinished here. But again, the idea that it, you can make the judicial decisions, but, uh, you know, the absence of this stuff here. Uh, again, the pupils, and even the pupils are exactly the way I want them on the drawing. And they're, they're absent here. And it's just a single drawing. And the need for curves smooth curves and uh, you know it's it you got this thing here it's a little wonky uh, this is whoa whoa ho, ho, ho right and a bunch of other beautiful things and again that's just uh, and this is the markup uh, oh the fingers I didn't even go over the fingers this thing here this stopping and and the thing is Inking in Photoshop, you just blow the thing up as much as you need to get uh, to avoid this kind of wonkiness. Uh, that's it. That's really it. You're developing a craft, and it's exact. And although, uh, to be fair, I do have it's it's kind of uh, you know interpretive here, but right where and yeah 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 so. It's uh, an inking uh, burgeoning of uh, new things like spring, right? And uh, the inking continues. So all this gets sent back to the inkers to refine and to uh, progress. Uh, but we, we always, always, always experience the beginnings right, of beautiful things. And all good things come from making errors so we could learn. And I really believe that. And one of the things, uh, one of the principles I created when producing courage was uh, accepting 70% of the work I would do if I were doing it myself. I would accept 70% of that because there would be no way to produce anything. Right? We have to make these compromises for schedule, for production, for budgets, for especially budgets. An independent film like The Howl, well, you know, we only have so much money to raise and to pay inkers and, uh, and production people. And you know how that is. We have to work smartly and uh, realize that our work uh, gets uh, moved up the 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 chain, the feeding chain, and it will in, uh, impact that, right? There's always effects. All right, so there we are. We're very excited uh, by this new stage in production. Stay animated. <laughs>